Hello friends, welcome. Now in this video, we are going to discuss about a VLOOKUP formula. VLOOKUP stands for Vertical Lookup. By giving a vertical order input, if you expect vertical order output, that is known as VLOOKUP. So here, just to make you understand on this topic, first I will hide the, the top ribbon. By clicking on the top arrow, I will be selecting Auto Hide Ribbon. And that's the, you know, in the previous class, as we already discussed student mark sheet calculation on that, I'm going to show you the VLOOKUP formula. So what is VLOOKUP? VLOOKUP is a formula which is used by giving a vertical input. We will be expecting another vertical order output. Now here my input is hall ticket number, which is available in a vertical order. And I'm expecting the total marks that is also available in a vertical order. So by giving a vertical order input, if you are going to expect the vertical order output, that is known as VLOOKUP. So before starting the formula, first I'll make you understand rules of this VLOOKUP. In the VLOOKUP, there are actually uh, four rules the first rule is that only the selected columns will be considered as column index number so basically we used to call this as a column b column c column d column right but in vlookup whatever the table that you are selecting only in a selected table the columns will be considered as numbers so let's take an example here i'm going to select from name of the student to total marks so now here i have selected from b to h so now we need to calculate the column index number from b which means 1 c 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so according to the first rule only the selected columns will be considered as column index number in VLOOKUP formula. That is the main thing you need to memorize. And the second rule is that zero, which is known as a false, which is actually used for exact match. So, so in, the, in the formula, if you are going to add zero, that will be known as exact match. And if you add one, which means it is known as approximate match, which is always goes to the downward approximate match. So zero stands for what? Exact match. One stands for approximate match. You will come to know the usage of zero and one when we start the formula. Now we'll go to the third rule. What is the third rule? Lookup value should be unique in the column. Let's say now we are going to take the input of hall ticket number. So here, if you are if you are going to take the hall ticket number of one double zero one zero one, that should be unique. That should not be a duplicate in the respect to column that should be only a one number if there is any other number like same with the one double zero one zero one it will be giving uh, results only for starting one double zero one zero one so make sure in your data the lookup value is a unique value and we'll go to the fourth one and you can find values from only left to right so if you are now here i'm going to give the input as a hall ticket number so that i can search in the right side by giving the marks i cannot search to the left so the lookup you can find values from left to right so you are, if your input is available at name of student you can only search in the right side you cannot search to the left side so by giving you know by giving average or by giving total marks you cannot find out the hall ticket number so that is that is not possible in vlookup you can look only the right side not to the left yeah and we have again the fourth condition that is Number five, lookup value should belong to first column of the table array. So if you are going to select from, if, if you are going to, you know, uh, by entering hall ticket number, if you want to get the total max, make sure the hall ticket number is a first column of the selected table. Let's take an example. Now, if you, if you wanted to type a name after the name, if you want to get the marks, make sure here you should type the name and you should select the table only from name of the student because it requires lookup value should be, should belongs to first column of the selected table. So now if you want to type the name and if you want to get the result, make sure you are selecting table only from name of student. If you are typing hall ticket number, you need to select the table from hall ticket number and then so on. So it is Mandatory. So these rules are mandatory to get a better results. Yeah. So now we start the uh, formula. Before starting the formula, first we understand how the formula description is given. The formula description is that e equals to v lookup open bracket lookup value comma table array comma column index number comma zero. Now here 
by giving hall ticket number as an input we are going to expect the total marks as output let's take an example we are going to select this data so in this selected table what is the column index number for total marks if you select from hall ticket number that will be one two three four five six seven eight nine so ninth column index number that i want to print so you need to memorize what is your column index number that is a that is actually known as return value so now here we start the formula now here i'm going to add a this add the sample so i'll enter the sample article number as one double zero one zero one that's my input and here i'm going to start the formula e equals to v lookup e equals to v lookup open bracket first what it is asking what is the lookup value i want to search for one double zero one zero one comma next what it is asking what is your table so in your selected table the lookup value should be in the first column so you need to select the table from hall ticket number and complete table so is my hall ticket number is it available in the first column of selected table of course yes comma next what it is asking now column index number in the selected table which column results you want to get a return in which column you know which column output you want to print i want to print the i character which is actually from a to i it is the column index number nine so i'm going to add nine and comma next it is asking so do you want to match to do you want to match to hall ticket number exactly one double zero one zero one or do you want to go for approx nearby uh, hall ticket number i want to match it exactly so here i'll be typing you know uh, let's say here i'll be typing zero zero for exact match or else you also can type as f a l s c false also ex uh, no, exact match if you type one that will be approximate match or else you also can type as true for approximate match now here as i want exact match i'll be typing zero and close the bracket and press enter so if you enter the hall ticket number of one double zero one zero one which is available in a vertical format and the marks of one double zero one zero one is 431 and immediately after that if you change let's now here i want to i want to come to know for rahim khan so one double zero one seventy one i'll change my in uh, my input that is the lookup value one double zero one seventy one so what is the marks of one double zero one seventy one that is totally 540 marks this is how the we look up works now here I, I also make you understand on what about approximate match i'll give a very simple example to make you understand and you can see here in the formula i'm going to you know instead of adding zero i'm going to add one which means now i'm going for i'm going for approximate match and here as one double zero one seventy one is available it is going to show the still report as uh, 540 but now here can if you see here there is a number one double zero one seventy one is available but again uh, if you see uh, one double zero one eighty one again one double zero one ninety one so here i am going to add the number which is not available in the list so that is one double zero one ninety one double zero one ninety which is very close to one ninety one but it is going to print the report of three 366 because it is always goes to the downward approximate match as i mentioned in the formula one is true or approximate match which is always go for a downward approximate match so when i enter 100191 as a 100 sorry as i entered 100190 as 190 is not available it is going to get the result of 181 see here there is a number 100191 is there but it is not going to match for exact or upward it is always goes to the downward approximate match so to the hall ticket number of 190 what is the nearest downward number that is 181 so it is going to print for 181 so likely even now uh, if you say I, i'll tell you one more thing you can see here there is a number 131 is there so if you type 100130 only as a 30 is not available it is going to show for the downward number that is 552 this is what approximate match here i'll type the name if if i type the name here i'm expecting the rank so let's say let's take an example example i want for mohan ranga so if i type mohan ranga here i want the rank of the mohan ranga so where the total student name is available from b column and what is the output that you are expecting that is rank column so from b you need to count that is b1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Now I am expecting the 10th output. So here the formula will be changed. E equals to V lookup open bracket. My lookup value is Mohan Ranga. 
comma what is the table array now you need to select the table from name of the student if you select from hall ticket number it is going to search in the first column right so that will be that, you know, that won't work you need to uh, you can see the condition lookup value should be b belongs to the first column of the table array so equals to v lookup lookup if equals to we look up open bracket look up value Mohan Ranga is available from name of the student that is B column to till end column comma what is the column index number you are expecting I am expecting 10th column comma next are you going for approximate match or exact match I am going for exact match 0 and close the bracket so what is the rank of Mohan Ranga if you see here Mohan Ranga rank is number 6 and if you want the rank of ram you can simply uh, type the input of ram and what is the rank of you know ram the rank ram rank is not available because uh, you know ram is failed in a subject so for failed student we are not, we're not giving the inputs right so that is how simple it works just remember these rules and remember the uh, from where you are actually selecting I'll, again i'll just come down i'll make you understand on another sample so here there is a different kind of data yeah so now here i have some top products and product code quantity and price if you type the product name here i want the quantity so my top products are available in a vertical order i am expecting even the quantity that is also available in a vertical order so now in this case you can use the vlookup formula so let's say i am expecting for canon so just a dummy data canon here i want the quantity so how you add e equals to vlookup open bracket lookup value comma table array now you need to select from top products comma because you know canon is available in the first column right so comma what is a column index number which output you are expecting one two three now i'm expecting three so i'll go for third column so that is three in a selected table okay actually it is u but you're not counting from a to u right you are actually counting from s t u so that will be the third column comma are you going for exact match or approximate match zero for exact match and close the bracket so what is the canon quantity that is 20 quantity that's how simple it is right thank you